Good morning, one and all. Uh, welcome to IEEE International Conference on Power Electrical Electronics and Industrial Application 2021. Uh, I am S. Ramanukumar Joga. So, my presentation on the topic Stockwell Transform and Data Mining Based Method for Fault Detection and Classification in PV Array. So, my co authors are Chitrala Sai Prakash, Alivarani Mahapatra. Pampa Sinha, Bhomkesh Nayak, and Manoj Kumar Maharana. I belong to School of Electrical Engineering, Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology from Bhuvaneshwar, Odisha, India. So these are my paper outlines. So introduction, literature review, proposed methodology, results and discussions, conclusion, future work, and references. So coming to the introduction, in recent years, the power demand to the renewable energy sources are increasing from day to day. So among all and all renewable energy sources, solar photovoltaic system is more reliable, efficient and economical in nature. However, PV system may suffer from the intermittency of environmental conditions. With this, PV systems may come across different fault conditions. So those fault conditions are open circuit faults, short circuit faults and partial sharing condition. So in this faulty condition, multiple peaks arise in the power voltage characteristics curve. So there is a chance of hotspot formation in the PV array and the PV modules may severely damage. So this leads to power degradation and efficiency reduction. So it is very crucial task to identify and classify the faulty condition. So coming to the literature review, uh, I have took uh, mainly three papers to work on that. I have worked with more than 11 papers, 12 papers, but I have highlighted only three uh, for the literature review. So in this first one, a novel convolution neural network based approach for fault classification in photovoltaic arrays. So this paper was authored by the F. Aziz and it is published in uh, IEEE Access 2020. So in this paper, authors use a two-dimensional deep convolution neural network technique to detect and classify faults in PV array. They are done with and without incorporation of MPPT. So the second paper, a novel fault classification approach for photovoltaic system. So the author was VS Kurukuru ETAL. So it is published in Energies 2020. So in this paper, authors used wavelet transform and radial basis function neural network to detect and classify the faults in PV array. An intelligent fault diagnosis approach for PV array based on SA RBF kernel extreme learning mission authored by uh, UV uh, is my third reference paper, third literature reference paper. So it is published in Energy Procedure 2017. So in this paper, authors use extreme uh, learning mission optimized by simulated annealing algorithm to detect, the to detect and classify the faults in PVR. So this is my proposed methodology. So the my proposed methodology consists of only three steps. One is measurement and second one is uh, decomposing the measurement measured signal. And third one is classification of events to supervised machine learning algorithm. So, so this is my flow chart here. So extract current signal at pre-fault condition, post-fault condition and decompose the current signal using Stockwell transform and extract the frequency components and next freed high frequency components and low frequency components as futures in machine learning algorithm classifier and finally we get the uh, detection fault detection and fault so my proposed methodology consists of two methods one is the uh, stockwell transform for the uh, signal analyzing and uh, future extraction and the next data mining technique for the classification of uh, events so the Stockwell transform, it is a time frequency spectral, fa spectral function to analyze the structure of a non-stationary signals. It is improvised version of complex wavelet transform 
with Gaussian window as mother wavelet. So let a current signal uh, I of t is considered to be decomposed to S transform. It is denoted as so there is a formula is given. So this is a Stockwell transform uh, basic formula. And the next is data mining techniques. So in this paper we use a supervised machine learning classifier. So like support vector mission, k nearest neighbor, adaboost, decision tree, artificial neural network, naive base, and uh, stochastic gradient descent methods. So to analyze the proposed methodology, we have took a 16 to 6 series parallel PV array. So you can see the diagram here. Uh, you can see uh, PV modules connected in uh, series and parallel uh, and make a PV array. A 6 into 6 series series parallel PV array. So we have given three fault conditions here. One is open circuit fault and the short circuit fault and partial sharing condition. So you can clearly uh, see in this diagram. So uh, A is the open circuit and uh, B fault is the short circuit fault and C is the shading partial shading condition. So these modules are made up of uh, KYO CERA KC200 GT PV modules and the PV module diagram is given here and the parameters also uh, I have given here. So now uh, this entire PV array was uh, modeled and simulated in uh, MATLAB, MATLAB Simulink. So first what we are taking is we are taking the current signal uh, from pre-fault and post-fault condition current signals and we decomposing it with the uh, Stockwell transform up to level levels and later we are taking high frequency components and low frequency components and uh, uh, at uh, pre and post-fault condition and these components are treated as futures in the classification problem and after that we are considering the only we are not taking full uh, wave full signal we are taking only the window length is considered around 60 seconds in between 100 second to 160 seconds so we are uh, gathered 639 <coughs> input data sets and they are uh, given to the machine learning classifiers and here there are we are and here we are giving four classes one is uh, no fault condition short circuit fault and short circuit fault condition open circuit fault and partial sharing are labeled so you can see diagram here <coughs> the uh, current uh, versus time uh, <coughs> signals here at pre fault and post condition along with the <coughs> it uh, S transform Gaussian diagram. <coughs> so the results and discussion. So the performance of classification problem is evaluated through a some uh, tabular form Cronus confusion matrix. So the classification accuracy of a 2 into 2 confusion matrix is mathematically denoted as there is a formula I have given. So we got a confusion matrix when we are doing the fault, fault classification problem. Uh, we got around 100%. Uh, you can see uh, classification program. The classification accuracy is around. So here we have uh, took two uh, cases one is fault detection and fault classification so fault detection is mainly done with no fault versus short circuit fault and no fault versus open circuit fault and no fault versus uh, partial charting conditions so all the uh, condition our proposed methodology gave 100 percent efficiency similarly fault classifications also our proposed methodology gave 100 percent uh, classification uh, accuracy apart uh, stochastic graded decent method which gave around 97.183 so the some conclusions uh, we are giving here the proposed method is successfully detected and classify the uh, fault with 100% accuracy except uh, stockwell transform which is which we got 97.183 uh, accuracy the proposed method is compared with existing method in literature and it is outperformed those uh, methods you can see the comparison table here uh, comparing with the uh, other method like CNN and uh, wavelet transform with probabilistic neural network and uh, wavelet transform with RBFN we got around 100% uh, which is outperformed all the previous existed methods. So the future work. So this proposed methodology is tested on PV array without uh, incorporating the MPPT controller. The future work, uh, uh, the future work of this uh, uh, proposed methodology is test the system by including MPPT uh, system. So these are my references. 
any questions